everybody. I have decided today, since it's, it's uh, early spring and I've got my logging done, and I have decided I'm gonna do a little bit of work with my Colts. I haven't done a thing with them for like three months, two to three months now since I've done a thing. If you recall, and you go back to this video, we had, last time I used them, we actually put harnesses on them and drove around the driveway and they did really, really good. But that was two or three months ago now. So I was going to take these guys out and do a little practicing with them, but I said, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you exactly how they are without, I haven't done a thing with them for two or three months since that last video I put out when they put harnesses on. They get let out to water sometimes, they go outside, that's what they've been doing all winter long. But to actually take them out of the barn and lead them, I haven't done it. To put them on the trailer, I haven't done it. To um, even see if they climb up on the steps onto our stairs, I haven't done it. And also I want to get them weighed up again today, which I have not done, that either. So um, they may or may not do that good. Um, the last time I tried to put Duke on the scales, he really wasn't that super great. But I have decided to, I've decided to have a little cheating with me today. My pockets are full of some oats. So just in case he hesitates, I am, I'm not one to um, use treats to get horses to do things, but at this stage, a tiny little treat is perfectly fine in my opinion. So we're gonna take out Earl first and kind of give him the walkthrough and see how he does. And then we'll come back and get dry Duke. I want to just say one more explaining of these straight styles that I have. A lot of people don't like straight styles, but especially with Colts, with these straight styles, because of just using them as straight styles, I want to show you how well he backs up generally. I mean, he backs up like a, a, a teenager that's done it all of his life. And it's because we've done so much, we've had to back them out of their styles so that they go to water and so that they go outside. And so all that daily practice is incredible good work for them even though I'm not actually in the process of training them at the time it's still a training process so Earl will get a little bit of water and then we'll head on out through our paces we're not going to bother putting harnesses on today um, because we haven't done that for such a long time I want to just basically go back to the basics and um, start with those things that I taught him first and then we'll slowly build up to putting those harnesses back on and driving them around. And who knows, if I get time, even this spring, it'd be great to start, as I'm driving them around, to actually pitch the two together and line drive them around the yard as a team. Come on, guy. You done? Nope. I'm quite confident in my, um, in, from what I've used of these guys that they're not gonna be any problem leading around because I've done so much of that with them, even though I haven't, you know, focused on that any this winter. It's a beautiful day, isn't it, Earl? So I'm gonna to try to walk Earl up the steps first, which I have done quite a few times before, but not for quite some time. But he just tends to follow me so well and leads so nice, I expect he'll follow me right up the stairs. As he looks things over, oh. So now I'm gonna lead him down the center stairs, which is always a little tricky. Careful. He tends to dive off, but today he's just gonna walk down the stairs like a perfect gentleman. Now, you might think, well, I've been practicing this, but I honestly have not. They have not been led out of the barn for 
I believe three months, two to three months, except for uh, being, I take that back because they got out of the pasture a couple times. I forgot about that. So I've had to lead them because of that outside. But most everything's been within the pasture that I've just let them loose. That's when they were being naughty though. So that yeah. really count. So let's see how he goes on the trailer. He looks like he wants to. Almost like he wants to roll. Yeah, that's what it seemed like he wanted to roll. I've been very impressed with how easy these guys are to train, I must say. And by being a period of two to three months without doing any training, and then to have them work this well, it's, it's really wonderful. Now, of course, the process isn't done. He could still go do something stupid, and then we won't feel so great about it, but hopefully he'll be good and so won't Duke. So we'll see if he'll walk up on the trailer like he should. I decided to take Earl first, but because generally he's been the best one as far as leading. Oh. Hey, all right, come around here. Hey. Got to leave his mark in the trailer, I guess. Makes me more work. Come here. Come here. Careful. Careful. I think I want to do that one more time. I didn't like the way he dove out of that trailer. I'm not surprised. That's for sure. But, uh... I don't expect and don't plan on him being perfect. Come here. But I hope he does a little bit better than that. Careful. Not really. Oh. That was a little better. Oh. He still kind of dove out, but. Yeah. I'm not gonna worry about that today. Twice is enough on that process. Okay. Let's go through the barn and see if you'll go up on the scales all right. He's checking Careful out, the this ice. is how we feed our corn. And um, we have a trailer here with the corn. Probably wasn't here last time he went through, so he was checking that out. Come here. Careful. 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 Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. So you got it set on 1200. 1200, if I remember right, it was, they weighed around 1100 last time. I'd have to double check, but. So let's see if he walks on the scales, all right. Nosy, nosy, come on. Get your nose out of there, come on. Oh. It's too heavy, Hup. too light. Hup. Oh. Oh. I thought it. Huh? Huh? What you at? Huh? Huh? It's still high. Huh? It's not high. No. Huh? Oh, it was on that thing. Okay. Let's see. Well, it's still. Go another hundred. Oh. Uh. Uh. That's pretty good. 1330. Wow. 1330. That's amazing. Come here. You're amazing. They're not very tall, but oh, they're solid. 13 for Dookie. This is a, oh, you upset at 13 for Dookie? Yeah. Okay. 1330. Okay. Let's put him in and see how Duke does in his lesson. He should have acted up a little. He could have got some oats. <laughs> water weighs up so much. He drank his water when he went out. He's gonna drink his water now again. These colts drink a lot of water and he would have oh. weighed another few more pounds. And they've been in for a while, so <laughs> they um, probably have been licking a lot of salt today. Yeah, probably. They usually Come here. spend more Come here. time outside, but it's so muddy. Come here. Come 
Dookie, let's see how you do. Now with Duke, a lot of times I will let him spin around because of the way that's set up, although I should have just had him back there because he can back very well too. And what? So Duke has been generally a little bit slower and less, um, uh, not quite so good at leading as, as Earl has. Um, there's been times, especially on the, on the, the scales, that we've had issues, and, and even the trailer, we've had some issues. Um, but generally, he does fairly well. Since we haven't done it for so long, this is one place where I'm not going to hesitate using a little bit of grain just to make sure it kind of goes smoothly, and then it's easy enough to stop using grain, um, and it doesn't hurt to use a little. Will he usually go up on the porch? Uh, I have a few times. Let's um, see how he does. Yeah. A lot of people might question why I try to take him up on the porch and what's the purpose of that. Well, basically the, what I'm trying to teach these colts is to trust me. No matter what I ask them to do, I want them to trust me. And so that's just a challenge to have a horse walk upstairs. And so it's just, if they master that, especially at a young age, it's just one more way that they trust me. Like I said, he hasn't really done this that super great. We'll see today how he does. So he's hesitant a little bit. Hey guy. Hey. So I decided to cheat a little bit. And like I said, I don't usually use grain for treats, but today I decided I'm going to. Now for the dismount, which is really a lot harder to do it and to do it good. And the person leading has to be very careful because if he chose to dive off, which a lot of times they will, you could get quite hurt. Careful, careful. But he did it like a perfect gentleman. I'm very pleased with that. A lot of people would stop and feed him grain at that point. And I'm not against doing that. Um, in some ways it might be a great idea, but I'm just, like I said, I, I'm just not a big um, person to do a lot of treats. They tend to get used to it and they always expect it. And I prefer, if I have to use it, to use it, like in the situation right there with the, at the stairs, just for that little bit and, uh, and not do it for that many things. So I'm hoping that he'll go into the trailer and onto the scales without needing a treat. But he may not, and, and that's okay. If I have to give him a little treat, I will. Once again, he's not used to that trailer. I think that might be it. Yeah, it's and all right. He just loves to fool around. Who knows? That's not a problem. He doesn't look too scared. Now these colts are still stallions. They, we haven't totally decided, but we're leaning towards keeping them stallions. So as a stallion, you have that issue of generally a little bit harder to train. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good boy. I'm not going to give him a treat, but I'm going to give him a little bit of rubbing. Good boy. All right, come here. Careful. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that awful noise, though, isn't it? Yes, the wind's blowing. We're going to do that one more time. It's the noise. Try to calm down a little bit. Come on. He might even go up a lot harder this second time. And if he does, I'm going to give him a little treat, but... Hopefully I won't have to. Oh. A little bit. Oh. No. No. Careful. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Wow, that was awesome, Duke. Okay, come along. You can see the hair flying off of him. 
So we have one more obstacle, and that's the scales. Careful with the ice. Careful. 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 So I'm curious to see how Duke will do going on the scales. I had quite a lot of troubles with him when we were first training him going on these scales. He fought me quite a bit. And so um, it might take a little grain to get him on this, this time. But as he gets older and gets used to me more and just gets handled more, he just tends to generally not be a problem. Come on. A lot of times I remember when we were fooling with these scales before, I was having a lot of troubles having to go on this side. And I went around that side, he walked right in beautifully. But I think today, I think I would rather, instead of trying that other side, I think I would rather just even give him a little bit of grain and hopefully he'll go in place. Although he's got hay in his mouth now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, I got more grain. A little bit more. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to give you a little bit of grain this time. Oh. Just a little bit. I was waiting to see if it would equal out. There you go. Good boy. Yes, good boy, it's all gone. 1335. Wow, just like Zach. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Careful. Dookie, you're the bomb. You're awesome. Come here. Come here. Well, I couldn't be more pleased. Both of these guys just did perfect and, uh, or not perfect, but they did really, really good for having a stretch of two to three months off without any training at all. Um, that is really good. Um, it may not seem like much to a lot of people, I don't know, but uh, to me, I'm very pleased and we'll hopefully in the next few weeks, we can have some more videos of them even driving them around with their harnesses on. And also, I don't know if I've told you this, but I, um, Eli, is my harness maker and my shoer is in the process of making a new set of harnesses for me. So um, we're gonna have a, actually it's not, the new set won't be for these guys, it'll be for Lady and Bill and Lady and Bill's harnesses will get them to fit these two, so. They're gonna get the hand-me-downs. Yeah, it's all you can have for now. Alrighty, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. <laughs>